This takeout classic is so simple you'll want to make it at home. Savory pork with lots of veggies to fill you up. This is Mushu Pork. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. I love Mushu Pork, especially when it's wrapped up in a fresh homemade tortilla. But Ella, my daughter, is not here today to make the tortillas, so I'm just using store-bought tortillas and it will be just as yummy. Well, maybe not just as yummy. I found a pork chop for $3.50 today, so that's pretty inexpensive. And that's what I'm using for my pork. I'm gonna cut off some of this fat. There's actually quite a bit of it. And then I'm just gonna slice it up so that we can put it in a stir fry. All right, so I removed most of the fat and I took off the bone, which it didn't take much effort. And if you don't want to use a pork chop, of course, I bought this because it was inexpensive today. You can always just pick up boneless pork chop or uh, pork tenderloin, pork sirloin, whatever you'd like to use will be fine in this dish. I'm gonna cut it up into strips, slice it first, and then I'm gonna turn it the other way and, and cut it down or across the grain. I guess what I'd like to say is don't be hindered by the cut of meat. Like, I guess if I was younger and didn't know much about cuts of meat, I wouldn't think to cut up a pork chop to make a stir fry. There. Altogether, that's about eight ounces of pork. So that's perfect. That's the amount we need. And just transfer it into my bowl. And I'm just gonna marinate it. Adding about two teaspoons of soy sauce, just regular soy sauce or light soy sauce. And one teaspoon of rice wine. I'm just using regular rice wine today. But if you have Shaoxing wine, you can use that instead. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground white pepper. And that's it. We'll set this aside to prepare the rest of the ingredients. Using half of a small head of cabbage, I'm gonna take out this stem. And then I'm just gonna slice it up. It's kind of like shredding. And I'm using a small onion. This recipe can be found in my new cookbook, Daily Special. And the recipe there includes Ella's homemade tortillas. And I am changing it up a little bit, just depending on what I have. In the recipe it says half an onion, but this onion's small, so I'm just gonna use all of it. Just slice it up. I'm using four little cloves of garlic. So in the recipe, it says two cloves of garlic. Again, adjust the recipe ingredients to your liking. And I also wanted to make sure that you didn't just skip over this recipe because you didn't want to make the tortillas. You can always just buy tortillas at the store. And just cutting up two stalks of green onion into about two inch lengths. I'm gonna cut these down a little bit and add it to the onions to cook. Because um, I don't like these not cooked well, so I'm gonna cook it with the rest of the onions. I also use black wood ear in this recipe and that's this. <laughs> it's a fungus. And uh, yeah, you just hydrate it and you can use it. So I use about a tablespoon of dried to um, rehydrate. And I call it wood ear because it's actually called dried black fungus when translated to English, but in Chinese it says black wood ear. So I don't know. Go figure. <laughs> in any case, you can get them like cut up like this in strips already, or you can get them in bigger ones and then you would just hydrate those bigger ones and just cut them down into strips. And also I'm gonna beat up three eggs. Now I understand in the States that there are some people experiencing a really high price of eggs. 
We're not experiencing that up here. So for me, everything is still costing the same for eggs. It's one of the things that has not been affected by inflation, thankfully. But if you are, just omit the eggs or use less. Check out these orange yolks. Mm -hmm. So awesome. All right, that's good enough. I'm also gonna prepare my sauce using one tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And hoisin is, well, translated, it's seafood sauce, but it's a bit sweet and it's a different flavor than the oyster sauce altogether. So it's not really a substitution. These are two different flavors coming together. And it's a bit sweet. Did I say that already? It's a bit sweet, so I'm not gonna add any sugar. One teaspoon of soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of sesame oil and two tablespoons of water. All right, set that aside. All right, heating up my wok, medium high. And if you don't have a wok, you can use a large frying pan. Once you see that wisp of smoke, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil and add my eggs. In the recipe in the cookbook, I actually make thinner omelets and cut them up into strips, but you know what, today, I'm not gonna bother doing that. And see, you don't have to do that either. Okay, and I'm just going to remove this, put it back in the same bowl, because it will come back out and go into the rest of the dish. Okay, turning the heat down to a medium, adding another tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna add my onions. Without the dark green parts. I just wanna cook it for about a minute or two. I'm gonna add my garlic for another half a minute or so and, or until fragrant. I'm gonna push it off to the side, adding a little bit more oil. I'm gonna add my pork. The pork is not very fatty, so I do need that oil to cook it and to make sure it doesn't really stick to the wok. Let it sear for about a minute before mixing things around. Once the pork is just cooked through, no longer pink, we're gonna add our cabbage. Along with the fungus and our sauce. The black fungus just adds an added crunch. If you wanna add more, you can do that. Okay, so it's in about three minutes. If you want your cabbage to be more cooked, you can cook it a little bit longer. You just want the cabbage to be wilted, but again, if you want it to be more cooked, you can cook it for up to five minutes. It should still be good. Adding my egg back in, I'm gonna chop it up. All right, turning off the heat. And throw in your other green onions. You just want those to wilt a bit. That's it. Look at this giant wok full of food. Well, my cabbage costs like three bucks for the whole thing. So I only used half of it. So this dish is like, what, five bucks? Well, and then you buy your tortillas and then it'll be more. Okay, I'm not gonna fill the whole thing, but that's like half. Are you all ready for? Yep. The taste, there's like so much food here. This is more like a burrito in the making. And it's as simple as putting it on the tortilla 
and putting as much hoisin sauce as you want. Oh my goodness, this is a burrito. I can't get this. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is gonna explode out, guys. It looks so good, you gotta, gotta get in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right there. Mm. Flavor, so good. The hoisin pops, it's sweet, tangy. Yeah, you get the contrast of textures, the soft tortilla, crunch, flavor. I mean, there's not much to say, it's just, it's really good. You can just eat a lot of these things. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. Hope you agree that it is super simple to make and really inexpensive. You can change out the meat if you don't want pork, you can use chicken or beef or shrimp, or just leave it out altogether. Maybe add some more eggs. You can find this recipe in my cookbook, Daily Special.